You get what you put in, right? How many times have we heard this over and over throughout our lives? If you want something, if you want a desired outcome, you have to put in the effort. And that is something I absolutely agree with. Other side that is talked about less is when it comes to your careers and where you are today and where you would like to be in a year or five is that you're going to get what you tolerate. And I don't mean necessarily just, you know, the powers and forces of universe, even though there is something there. Um, if you're allowed, if you're allowing to be micromanaged and work for someone who's not a leader, who does not have a vision, does not get the best out of you. Or if you yourself are allowing people to come in and become members of your team who don't contribute, who don't perform, who talk a good game but don't deliver, you're going to get what you tolerate. You're going to end up with a mediocre product or service, an outcome, an output that you're not proud of. So, considering how much time we spend in our professional endeavors, whether it's a, your own business, you're an entrepreneur, or a small business owner, or you're part of a major corporation, it is important to put your best foot forward every single day to focus on quality and value that you provide to others. Those you come in contact with and those who might be you know, a couple of steps removed from you. Provide value to those you work with and those you work for. And do not allow anyone to limit your creativity, your capabilities, and your potential. Because if you decide to stay in the same place for a decade or two, and five years in, you knew this wasn't the place you're excited about any longer. This is not the place and uh, that you believe in as much. That these are not the leaders you want to follow. That these are not the people you necessarily want to lead. It is your fault. It is all up to you. Because you settled and you tolerated. And you probably came up with a bunch of different excuses. They sounded good to you at that time. Today they probably sound... Um, less palatable, but they're still there. They're still present. But they sound good to you as a justification, as a reason why you ended up where you are. So I beg you, I urge you, don't settle for things that do not make you happy and where you're not contributing as much as you believe you can. It's not about money. It's never about money, for me at least. It's about the impact. It's about the contributions you can have. It's about being challenged. It's about being able to contribute at a higher level. So search for that of whatever else motivates you for yourself. But don't settle for mediocrity. I met a gentleman who was an executive at a major, major Fortune 500 company several years ago. and We talked about being average. And he said... Imagine a place with a lot of people. Pick any place in the world. You can pick a, you know, a soccer or a football stadium. Let's say 50,000 people. And then you walk in. Half of those people are better than you. Think about that. Do you still want to be average? Because that's what average means. Middle of the road. I wish you all the best. Push yourself to live up to your potential and your capabilities. To have a fulfilled life and to have professional contributions that you're proud of. Think about your legacy, think about the future, think about decades from now. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. Share this video with those friends who need to see it and you know who they are. We all have at least one, probably more than one. And have a wonderful day. Once again, I wish you all the best. Have a great day.